Sonia Pizarro, who starred in Operation Repo, passed away unexpectedly at the age of 60. The death of the famous television personality occurred while she was sleeping, as was reported by her nanny, Linda. Pizarro quickly established himself as a fan favorite on the series Operation Repo, which aired on True TV and followed a group of professional car repossession agents working in the San Fernando Valley to reclaim vehicles from their irate owners. Operation Repo, which was developed by her brother Lou Pizarro and quickly became a fan favorite, is primarily based on true events but is acted out by cast members. Pizarro would go on to feature in her very own movie that was a spin-off from the show, titled Operation Sonia, Love Thy Sleeping Neighbor, which was released in 2016. Froilan Tercero, another cast member from Operation Repo, as well as Pizarro's ex-husband, announced the news on Instagram along with a photo of the celebrity. He wrote to them, I'm deeply sad to inform you that Sonia has passed away. To many, she was a baddest chick that kicked some serious ass. But to me, she was and will always be my ex-wife, the mother of my son, and she will always have a place in my heart and on my body since I still have her name tattooed on my stomach. After that, he continued by saying, Sonia, we love you, and I will honor you with all of the good mementos you have me. Thank you, and I love you. I will be taking a break from social media for the foreseeable future. I appreciate all of you for understanding, and I love you all. The circumstances behind her passing have not been made public at this time. Between the years 2006 and 2014, the reality star was a participant in the show Operation Repo on True TV. In addition, she appeared in a few of films. Continue reading to learn everything there is to know about her life and profession. On Thursday, Linda Pizarro, who herself was a cast member on Operation Repo for a total of six years, broke the news that her aunt, Sonia Pizarro, had passed away. The reality star is survived by her three children, Ruby, Robert, and Froyland Jr., as well as her three grandkids, Bryant, Bry, and Danica, Ruby, Robert, and Froyland Jr. Froyland Tercero, who was formerly married to Sonia and worked with her in the film, recalled her as a baddest chick that kicked some serious ass. When he found out she had passed away, he expressed his sorrow by saying, she will always have a place in my heart and on my body since I still have her name tattooed on my stomach. Sonia, we love you, and I will honor you with all of the good mementos you gave me. Thank you, and I love you. Pizarro had been dealing with a number of complicated health issues over the past few years. In 2018, she experienced a stroke, and later she was admitted to the hospital. Her capacity to talk and her fundamental motor capabilities were substantially impaired as a result of the sickness. Linda disclosed that the medical issues that she had been experiencing were not believed to be the reason for her passing. A number of people who utilize social media have just recently expressed their sympathies to the reality star's family. May she finally find rest in peace, one of her fans remarked. I really enjoyed watching her on the show. Someone else expressed their deepest sympathies to her family by tweeting, My most heartfelt condolences. All of them are in our thoughts and prayers at this time. Thank you so much for the love, said another tweet. I recall seeing her on the sitcom that she was in. Although I disagreed with the majority of what she had to say, it was still enjoyable to see her. After all of these years, I heard the name again, and it took me by surprise to discover that she had passed away. God rest her soul. My deepest condolences go out to her and her family, the supporter wrote. In 2006, Pizarro made her debut in the world of television with the show Operation Repo. This reality television program followed a team of highly trained professionals from California's San Fernando Valley as they repossess cars, no matter how angry the owners may get. The series presented dramatic recreations of actual events that occurred throughout the repossession process. Several members of Sonia's family, including Linda, Froilan, Louis Lou Pizarro, and Roberto Rob Pizarro, made appearances in the show. Matt Birch, Carlos Lopes, Ronnie Lee, Vanessa Gomes, Ashley Birch, Mike, and Frankie rounded out the rest of the cast as the supporting cast members. Sonia remained involved with the show until its conclusion in 2014, during which time she was featured in the vast majority of its episodes. She had a starring role in the film Repo Chick, which was released in 2009. 
In addition, she appeared in the film Followed 2018 in some capacity. Sonia had an appearance in the Operation Repo spin-off movie titled Lou's Revenge in the year 2016. Our hearts go out to Sonia Pizarro's family and friends during this difficult time. I pray that the Lord would grant her soul peace. Sonia Pizarro's Detailed Biography Sonia Pizarro was born into a family of antique dealers, and as a result, she spent her childhood in an environment that was filled with rare and priceless objects. Sonia spent a significant portion of her childhood in Long Beach, California, working at the antique shop that her parents owned and learning about the antiquing industry. Her parents ran the shop. Sonia displayed at an early age a remarkable ability for recognizing expensive antiques and collectibles despite her little age. She frequently accompanied her parents to estate sales, auctions, and flea markets, and it was from these experiences that she gained the ability to negotiate prices and recognize goods that may have resale potential. Sonia continued her education at the California State University, Long Beach, where she received a degree in business administration after completing her high school studies. After she graduated from college, she spent several years working in a variety of corporate jobs, but she never lost her love for antiques. In the year 2010, the creators of the reality television show Storage Wars sent an invitation to Sonia to become a cast member on the show. Sonia was intrigued by the premise of the show, which consisted of purchasing abandoned storage lockers and searching the contents for valuable relics, so she decided to try out for a role in the production. Sonia rose to prominence as one of the show's most well-liked and recognizable cast members almost immediately after joining the cast of Storage Wars. Due to the fact that her knowledge of antiques was extensive and her humor was sharp, she became a fan favorite and appeared on the show for multiple seasons. Sonia is the owner of her own antique store, which focuses in vintage and mid-century modern pieces. When she is not working on Storage Wars, she runs her own business. In addition, she is the proprietor of a vintage clothes shop in Long Beach, California, which goes by the name Off the Fringe. Additionally, Sonia is well known for the advocacy work that she does. She has been involved with the Humane Society in a number of different projects due to her deep and abiding love of animals. In addition to being an advocate for the preservation of the environment, she has been a supporter of organizations such as the Surfrider Foundation. Sonia's private life includes the fact that she is married to a man named Sergio and that the couple has two children together, a son and a daughter. She takes pleasure in going on vacations, collecting antiques, and spending time with her family. Sonia's accomplishments in the field of antiques and collectibles have elevated her to the position of a renowned and powerful figure within the sector. Her knowledge of the industry as well as her enthusiasm for it have garnered her a devoted following of collectors and enthusiasts, and she continues to be an inspiration to others via the work that she does both on and off screen. What are the best and worst known facts about Somya Pizarro? Somya Pizarro, like any other public figure, has been the subject of commentary that is both complimentary and critical. The following is a list of some of the most notable objects in each category. The bright side is, Somia's expertise of antiques is highly regarded and admired due to the widespread respect she has earned in the field. She was brought up in a family that dealt in antiques, and ever since she was a teenager, she has been purchasing and selling antiques herself. Her knowledge and experience shine through on Storage Wars, where she is frequently able to spot valuable objects that the other bidders pass over. Personality Traits Somia's quick wit, sense of humor, and gregarious nature have made her a fan favorite on Storage Wars. She is famous for the witty one-liners she comes up with and her ability to make other people laugh. Sonia is a successful businesswoman who owns and operates both an antique business and a vintage clothing store. Both of these businesses have been quite profitable for Sonia. Her entrepreneurial spirit and business aptitude are commendable. An advocate for animal rights and environmental protection, Sonia has collaborated with the Humane Society on a number of projects during the course of her involvement with the organization. Additionally, she is an advocate for the protection of the environment and contributes to the funding of organizations such as the Surfrider Foundation. Sonia is committed to her family. She has a husband and two children, and she places a high value on the time she can spend with them.
On her many social media accounts, you may frequently find her posting photographs and tales related to her family. Things going wrong. Conflict and drama on Storage Wars. Storage Wars, like many other reality television shows, has the potential to be loaded with drama and conflict. Sonia has been a part of some of the more intense exchanges that have taken place on the show, including disagreements with other cast members. Trouble with the law. In 2019, Sonia was arrested on charges of driving under the influence of alcohol and leaving the scene of an accident. She entered a plea of no contest, and as a result, she was placed on probation and required to perform community service. Statements that have caused controversy. In the past, Sonia has been known to make statements that have caused controversy, including comments regarding race and gender that some people have regarded to be insulting. Sonia has been less prominent in the public eye ever since she left the show's storage wars, which results in limited availability. Some of her supporters have been let down because she hasn't made an appearance on any other television shows and has kept her social media activity to a minimum. Customers have given a variety of reviews. Even though Sonia's businesses have been successful, certain clients have voiced their dissatisfaction with the prices as well as the level of service they receive. These complaints, on the other hand, are not specific to Sonia's businesses. Rather, they are typical in the industry of selling antiques. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.